Good morning guys and welcome back to our off-grid cabin build video series here on our homestead in North Idaho. Today is a beautiful snowy day. Sun is coming up and we have got a lot of snow last night. Whoa, look at that. It's awesome. Let's see how much we got. Ready? Here we go. Ooh, about four and a half inches, almost. Yeah, four and a half. Four and a half inches. Seth, so we got four. And, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> we got four and a half inches of snow. Awesome. Yeah, so it's on the log over there. That's how much we got last night, too. Right. Let's go on. Things are doing here, guys. Oh, nice. A lot of snow's already come down the roof. A lot of it has slid off. Whoosh. Over here, though, not so much. And then uh, we got some coming off of here. Let's go around and check out the other side real quick. Whew. It's nice out here. Check out the snow on the um, clothesline. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Look, there's tracks. Julie's already out. She goes for a three mile run. Ooh, it's gonna come down, buddy, really soon. Look at that. It's just hanging there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, I miss you. Oh, look at that. They had to tell us all down. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's funny. And look, we had a we had a piece right here uh, off of the uh, underlayment come down, too. That's cool. <coughs> Seth got clobbered <laughs> with the snow from the roof. Oh. You guys think Seth needs a haircut? No, no, I don't need a haircut. It looks bad because I haven't done my hair yet. He has snow in my hair now. If he had my beard, you could call him Grizzly Adams. Wait, this is Grizzly Adams. Who's Grizzly Adams, Seth says. What's up with kids these days, huh? What do you think about the snow, huh? You've been out running, dude. You're breathing hard. Let's see, can you get a snowball? Hey, ducks. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey, ducks. Get it. Ready? Ducks, ready? Well, he doesn't hate it. But it is only what, four and a half inches? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, four and a half inches. There's our wood pile. What's that? There's ice underneath here. It's cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, we want to get the snow off of here. That's what we came out here to do. Get the snow off of the woodshed. It's supposed to, you know, be a year around shelter garage in a box but why not take the snow off of it huh why not play it safe right safety sally says play it safe guys it take the snow off Look how thick that is. well that's big yeah huh it's like a quarter of an inch or more 30 uh, three eighths maybe all right <clears throat> gonna push up from the inside and see if it'll come off Not so much. Whoa. And that's a lot of snow.
All right, let's go check out the solar panels. See if we get them cleaned off because we got blue skies, man. We could be making some electricity today. Look at that. Isn't that cool looking, man? Blue skies. Well, that might be a little overkill on the ladder, but it'll work. Oh yeah, buddy. Cool. Come out, man. We got. Wow, we got solar panels again. I'll bring you guys up here and let you check it out here real quick. Oh. All right, there's the panels right there. They go all the way over to there. Obviously, no need to mention it. It's been mentioned in many a video. These solar panels are at the wrong angle for winter, and they get covered up with snow. I know. They're going right over there along that wall right there. They can be adjusted for winter and summer. We don't have time to do that right now. We got other projects going on inside the house. They're still here from the summer build when we were building our house. We just clean the snow off of them and get what power we can. Someone's probably gonna say, you shouldn't be using a yard rake to clean off your solar panels. Safety Sally says, too dangerous. Well, I'll use what I got. Okay. If you're careful, it's not a problem. If you're like a gorilla, then yeah, maybe you shouldn't use it. The sun's gonna take care of the rest of that, no problem at all. Why isn't moving those solar panels number one priority? Seems like everybody's got their own number one priority pet project. Well, because we don't use very much electricity. Number two, we have a generator to charge the batteries when we need to, so it's not number one priority. You cold, little buddy? Wanna go inside? Okay, come on, let's go. Ah, number one priority is getting the kitchen out of the love loft. Check it out, we added some more. Right here, we're just going up to here because the plugs are gonna go up high so we can put those in later. But we got the four feet along the bottom in and that's really where we're gonna stop. I know, I kinda revised the plan as we go. Let me show you what else we did. Look at that, we got a ceiling in the bathroom. Cool, huh? And keep revising the plan, guys. We got a deal, at least I think it's a deal. It fit in the budget, we've got our cabinets here, our lower cabinets right here. So, we're actually going to put the cabinets in the bottom down here. And uh, order the stove, refrigerators on order. They'll be coming in here soon, hopefully next week. And uh, man, we're going to have a real kitchen downstairs, guys. A real kitchen, even though right, the rest of it's not done here. We're still gonna have a real kitchen. It's gonna be awesome and a real bathroom finished complete. That's gonna be the first room that we try to finish 100%. You're talking baseboards, trim, lights, everything. Maybe even some of that, some of that uh, fake wood flooring in there, just to totally finish it. Get some practice finishing everything on a small room. That way then. When we go to do the rest of the house, we'll at least have a little bit of experience. Our friend Carol from Montana asked how she can become a patron of our channel. And I bet that there are quite a few of you that would like to know the same thing. It's really easy to do, guys. Just click on the little arrow there by the title if you're on a iPhone or an Android, maybe even a tablet. If you're on a computer, click see more there below the title of the video. That will open up the description. Just scroll down in the description and look for a link there that says something like support us on Patreon. Click that link and that will open up our Patreon page to a bunch of different options of what level of 
patronage you would like to give. And so when you look at that, click see more or show more, and then that will open up a whole bunch of options from one star to five star patrons. Then you just select which level you would like to join at and click the button there, fill out the information, and bam, you are a patron with full patron privileges. If you'd like to see more about what's going on in our homestead, there is a video right over there that you'd probably like to go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you over in that video in just a second.